Still confused about? Tourniquet test. Don't worry. There will be no confusion about it. After watching this video. Hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about tourniquet test. It is also called as rumpel lead test and also capillary fragility test. Let me first tell you why this test is done. This test is done to know the hemorrhagic tendency of a patient. Moving to the procedure of this test. A BP cuff is applied over the hand of a patient. Blood pressure of the patient is checked. Point between systolic and diastolic pressure is finded out. For example, if a patient's blood pressure is 120 by 80, then the cuff is inflated up to 100 for 5 minutes. In the other way, a tourniquet is applied over the hand of patient for 5 minutes. Later, after the removal of tourniquet or a cuff, a tachea starts appearing in that area. A tachea are the small rounded spot that appear on the body after pressure application. A square box is assumed over that area with approx size of 1 is 2 1. The number of petechia are counted inside that box. If the number of petechia are less than 10, then the tourniquet test or capillary fragility test is said to be negative. And if the number of petechia are more than 10, then the tourniquet test or capillary fragility test is said to be positive. Positive capillary fragility test is observed in dengue fever, thrombasthenia, thrombocytopenia, and various other diseases. Hope you guys like this video. I request you to press the like button and please subscribe to my channel, Dr. This Side, and press the bell icon to get notified for the upcoming video.